Facebook Live world doing today? <clears throat> I hope everyone's doing great. I am just trying to get my Facebook feed set up so that I can chime in and see all these chat questions that are going to come through. Um, in usual Carrie's Corner fashion, welcome to Carrie's Corner. Um, we're going to start off as people are joining in and, and chiming in, uh, we're going to start off with just a little bit of story time. Uh, when I was a classroom teacher, I would always start each day with just kind of catching up, lightening the mood, telling some fun stories. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do in Carrie's Corner. And today's kind of anecdote or story is, <clears throat> is going to come from, it's based on our theme. And our theme today is the power of positive speaking. First of all, I want to apologize. I have a little bit of a raspy voice. Um, a nasty cold has been coming through. When that temperature changes in the south, um, never fails. I always go through this fun, raspy voice time. So I apologize for that. Hopefully you're still able to follow along. I hope it's not too distracting. Sorry if I squeak every now and again. But let's get on to today's story. I love this story. Um, and thinking of the power of positive speaking. Remember, that's our theme today. So, if you ever get the chance to go to Disney World or Disneyland, either one, um, and if you've been there, you have no doubt seen these little girls um, and they're dressed in their perfect princess dress and they have their hair done and they have a bun on the top of their heads and their hair's like this, it's pulled so tight that they can't even think straight. Um, and parents wonder why, you know, by the end of the day, their perfect little princess has turned into the Wicked Witch. Well, let me tell you what, parents, you try walking around all day in a big poofy dress and your hair pulled like this and a whole can of hairspray and a whole can of glitter and makeup running all over your face and you try to tell me that by the end of the day you're not in a cranky mood? Yeah, yeah. Fairy Godmother knew what she was doing when she set a curfew, okay? Glass slippers could not have been that comfy. Anyway, at Disney World, you have the opportunity for your perfect little prince or princess to meet the princesses. And after standing in line for give or take two hours, it is your kiddo's turn to dance with royalty. Lo and behold, they start screaming, just in time for that priceless princess pick However, the next time that happens, which I hope it doesn't happen to you multiple times, but the next time that happens, I want you to notice the princess's smile never fades. She is calm. She is composed. She, even though there is a child throwing a tantrum the size of a hurricane in front of her, she straightens her tiara and wishes the delightful child a magical day in the kingdom. We can all take a note from these princesses. We really can. Because positive speaking will always defeat even the wickedest of witches. <laughs> I want you to notice that next time you're at Disney World, though. Um, or if you want to Google some of those. I'm sure there are 8 million vid YouTube videos of kids throwing tantrums in front of the princesses. And they simply go, oh my... And they smile. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with today's show. If you're just tuning in for some English tips or just to watch the wacky American lady talk about English exams, welcome to Carrie's Corner. I'm Carrie, and this is my corner. Carrie's Corner is brought to you by Worldwide Health Staff Solutions in promotion of our ESL program designed to help you ace your English exam. Whether it's the IELTS, the TOEFL, the PTE, the OET, here in my corner, we work on tips and tricks to help you ace the exam. Today, we're going to be talking about the power of positive speaking, how to ace that speaking portion of your test. I would love to utilize the chat feature some more. So if you're tuning in and you have questions, if it's about an English exam, no matter what it's about, um, Please, please, please be sure to comment. Let me know what you've got going on. Let me know if you have any questions. 
Um, I will do my best to answer them because like I said, we are live. So I will do my best to answer those questions live. So if you're tuning in, drop in a comment. Let me know who you are. Where are you from? Are you an RN? Are you an NA? Are you a veterinarian? Because we hire those too. That still baffles me if you've been watching this show. I just think that's crazy. It's awesome, but it's crazy. Um, if I was a vet internationally and I wanted to come to the U.S., I would totally use Worldwide. So here we go. Positivity, positive speaking, it's so important and it sets the tone for your interview. If you go into an interview and you go into your, um, not just your any, any interview, but if, you go, if you're prepping for an interview, if you're prepping for an interview with our amazing recruitment team, you can still use this information that I'm talking about today. This is not just applicable to an English language exam. These are totally applicable. If you're preparing to come to the United States and you haven't met your boss yet, absolutely. These tips are still totally applicable to you as well. Positivity is applicable everywhere. So <clears throat> the biggest thing is positivity is seen on your face in body language. Body language is so huge, especially in these IELTS face-to-face -face interviews, right? If you come in and you sit down and you're just these big, like we call it deer in the headlights and you're just like this, <laughs> the person interviewing you is going to see that and they're going to be like, I don't know how this one's going to go. But if you sit down and you are confident and you are smiling and you are like, bring it on, bring it on. What you got? I'm ready to talk to you today. That totally sets the vibe for a confident um, exchange, a confident conversation. Dolly Parton has a saying, and if you don't know who Dolly Parton is, you need to Google her. Dolly Parton is an American icon. She's a legend. Love Dolly Parton. But she has a saying, and it's called, and it, she says, smile, it increases your face value. And it's so true. Smiling can go such a long way, even if your examiner doesn't smile. And I've had quite a few people comment and talk to me about how um, I really need to work in the USA. Yes, we would love for you to work in the USA. Yes, come to the USA. Tell me more information about you. Are you an RN? Are you an NA? Um, let us know how we can help. We would love to. But um, if your examiner does not smile and they stare at you, I call it dead fish face um, because they do. They look like a dead fish. I'm sorry if you're an examiner and you're watching this, um, but if you just stare at the person like this, I taught high school for 15 years. I know what dead fish face looks like, okay? <clears throat> it doesn't, it, it's hard to converse with someone who just stares at you like this. And you just want to be happy and peppy. So remember the princess story. Even in the face of a hurricane tantrum child, princesses are still smiling. They're still grateful. They're gracious. You got to do it. You've got to do it. And I know you can. Hi, Susan from Nigeria. Hello. Oh, we totally have ways to help you prepare for the NCLEX. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we have amazing people who are monitoring our chat, and they're going to send you information for sure. Um, all right, so back to the lesson. When you're in those uncomfortable situations and that person is just staring at you, and I'm going to tell you this, those examiners, a lot of times, they want to see you kind of shift in your seat. They want to see you nervous. They want to see you um, have to think on your feet and they want to see you in an uncomfortable situation. And I have a very, very, very good friend, a very good, she was my co-teacher. She's amazing. Shout out to Melissa White if you're watching this. I love you and I miss you. But she told me, don't ever let anyone steal your joy, never no matter what the situation is, because you all know that sometimes you're going to walk in and you're going to have cranky patients. You're, you're going to have a cranky boss. I hate to say it. You're going to have, there's going to be other cranky nurses on the floor. Don't ever let anyone take away your joy. And especially in these conversations. So have that inner joy. Picture somebody that you love. Picture somebody that you love talking to. When you go into these IELTS interviews and these IELTS speaking sessions, picture someone you love talking to. The same works for my PTE people. I see you out there. I'm going to take the PTE exam. Fantastic. I love it. Um, <clears throat> uh, Sarfaraz. I don't know. I probably said your name wrong. God bless you as well. From Pakistan. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely bless you as well. Thank you for tuning in. Um, 
But speaking of the PTE exam, this resonates as well for the PTE exam. It is um, very important to still have that positivity. Now they can't see you, right? They're just listening to you. And hearing positivity, it comes across in your voice. Having that hopeful tone comes across in your voice. Okay, so don't let anyone, when you're speaking, because I know um, people who take the TOEFL, people who take the PTE kind of struggle because they're just speaking into a microphone to a computer, right? Picture somebody that you love. Picture somebody that, you're, that you feel like you would want to have a conversation with. That's who you think of um, when you're having those moments. So another thing that I want to talk about is what I've learned is it's kind of a cultural thing that people are scared to speak English. And I've learned that with having multiple speaking sessions, multiple speaking sessions with people, and they get better over time. And the reason they get better over time is because they become more comfortable with me. Um, you cannot be scared to mispronounce something or think that your accent is impacting our ability to understand you. If you approach something with trepidation or with hesitation, then that, that is going to impact your pronunciation. Did you know that when you smile and pronounce things, your pronunciation increases? It gets better when you're smiling versus if you're frowning and you're trying to pronounce things. See, I'm not, I'm not a frowner, so it's like very unnatural for me to do this, but it changes the pronunciation, <laughs> okay? Smiling, having that positive, um, <clears throat> just expression on your face increases your pronunciation. So even for those of you taking the PTE and the TOEFL and you're recording, smiling goes a long way. And for don't be scared if you're mispronouncing or don't be embarrassed about your accent or any of that. That's a beautiful gift. It's a beautiful thing. What you've done, those of you out there who are learning multiple languages, that's huge. That's such an accomplishment. You should be so proud of yourself. Be so proud of your home accent. Um, do not, do not feel nervous or scared when it comes to, don't think that you have to hide or disguise your accent. It's beautiful, okay? <clears throat> you can still have a native English conversation with your God-given beautiful accent, okay? Um, how can one enroll for the training? You're an in, you have an NA offer. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Um, we are going to be rolling out an NA program. Um, hopefully the talks are right now in January. Um, and it's kind of later in the process for my NAs, but we are rolling out an NA program. So I see you NAs out there. Don't worry. I am here for you as well. So let's kind of move on a little bit with the power of positive speaking. And let's talk about what this looks like. Um, other than the smile on your face. So for part one of the IELTS, part one is um, what I like to call grocery store chit chat. Okay, and if you've worked with me before, you've heard this, you know that I've talked about this. Part one, keep it short and sweet. They're very just kind of casual, get to know you conversational questions. Okay, and they're gonna be all over the place. They may ask you, do you have any pets? And then they'll ask you about your family and then they'll ask you about your hometown and then they'll ask you your favorite movie. So all that kind of stuff, it's very conversational, get to know you, keep it short and sweet. You want them to get through four or five questions at least in part one. If they only ask you one question and you spend the whole time summarizing the entire Avengers series, which I'm telling you right now, you're gonna need more than four minutes to summarize all of the Avengers to do it any kind of justice. Um, but if they ask you what your favorite movie is and you try to summarize all of the Avengers movies, that's not gonna work. All you have to respond with is something short, sweet, and simple and say, you know what, I love superhero movies. My favorite is the, the Avengers. Don't ask me to pick a favorite, I love them all. Easy enough, right? Keep it short and sweet. Um, don't, you know, give a whole life story. This is definitely not your opportunity to give your whole life background. Um, it's just get to know you talk. I found, I've recently discovered a um, really great app and it's called I'm Curious. It's totally free. It's called I'm Curious. And it just has the most random questions. We actually use it at the dinner table um, with my family at night and it just asks some really fun questions that make you think on your toes and um, and you, you know you don't know what the next question is going to be so you can't be thinking and preparing and it's just a really great way to 
make yourself, it asks you the questions. And if you're practicing, answer in English, answer those questions in English and kind of set a timer for yourself to answer it in 30 seconds or less. Um, that's a great way to practice. Again, the name of that app is I'm Curious and it's totally free. Yay, I love free. So if you're taking the IELTS or, or if you're taking the TOEFL and the PTE, I'm going to talk to you. I'm talking to you guys now. TOEFL and PTE people have spent enough time on the IELTS. Let's focus on TOEFL and PTE. Like I said, positivity is all in your tone, all in your tone. Don't sound like a robot or super rehearsed. With the PTE, I know they give you something on the screen and you have to read it, right? So here's your English word for the day. Your English word for the day is prosody. Prosody. And what prosody is, is it's the ability to read and sound engaging. It's knowing when to emphasize words and phrases. It's what keeps you from sounding like a robot. If you think back to your earlier days of early education and your teacher would read stories aloud, she didn't read C spot, C spot run. No, she, he, or, he or she did not read like that. They read C spot, C spot run. Like it's more exciting. There's prosody. There's some some excitement behind it. There's some positivity behind it, right? Now, I'm not saying you need to sound like a cartoon character. If you're an impressionist, this is not the time to practice those skills, right? I'm pretty sure that the TOEFL and the IELTS and the PTE don't want to score Sid the Sloth, <laughs> okay? Like, get rid of the accents. If you haven't seen Ice Age and you don't know who Sid the Sloth is, um, that doesn't make much sense to you. But don't don't try to sound like a cartoon character. Just read with some enthusiasm, okay? Read with the positivity. Uh, hopefully that uh, hopefully that brings home the, the driving point to you um, is when you're reading those things. When you are um, same thing in the TOEFL and the PTE, when you're looking at an image and you have to summarize the image on the screen or explain the image on the screen, there's still time. You just don't sound like a robot. Don't sound with the uh, uhs and ums, and, and it's called monotone. So that's keeping the same tone while you talk the whole time. Nobody wants to listen to that. They want to listen to someone who has some positive energy, right? Positive energy. Posit it goes such a long way, such a long way when you're speaking in person, especially if you're speaking on the computer. I'm telling you right now, you have to work harder for the TOEFL and PTE. I know everybody out there is like, I want to take the PTE because it, it's easier. I know. Okay. You still got to work hard on those speaking scores. You still have to work hard to get those speaking scores across. Okay. All right. Well, now I'm positive that it's time for the show to come to an end. We've been on for 18 minutes, so I got to start wrapping it up. Don't forget to show some love to your case manager. If you're interested in becoming a part of the worldwide family and working with our amazing recruiting, case management, licensure, legal, marketing, and relocation teams, and with me, uh, then send us a message. Reach out to us, send us a message. We would love to hear from you and we would love to help you take that first step on your journey to the United States. It's difficult out there right now, okay? I'm speaking for my case management and my legal team right here. It is difficult out there right now. I know that so many of you out there are experiencing frustrations with the process taking a long amount of time. But please, please, please understand and know that we at Worldwide, we are doing our absolute best to follow up on each and every individual. So if you're out there and you're experiencing frustration, please know that at Worldwide, we are doing our absolute best um, a lot of times it's taken out of our hands and put into the immigration and immigration is short staffed and we're all still recovering from COVID and it's just a crazy world right now. So please do not lose um, hope. Do not lose faith in your worldwide health staff solutions team. We really and truly cannot wait to welcome you to the United States. And speaking of the United States, one more reminder that next week, be thankful. Next week is Thanksgiving here in the United States. It is a national holiday, so our offices will be closed on Thursday. Um, personally, Carrie, I will be in a corner elsewhere. 
stuffing my face with some tasty turkey, and then if my children will allow me, I'll be taking a delightful afternoon nap. Odds of that happening are probably slim to none, but I can hope, right? So to wrap it all up, I'm Carrie. This is my corner reminding you, don't face the corner, face the world with Worldwide. Thanks for tuning in. Over and out.